Good day everyone and welcome to where we are putting together solutions to those math and science problems that students are getting. In this video we'll be looking at CSEC mathematics and the past paper questions on the topic of transformations. We'll be looking at the past papers for the five years from May 2014 until 2018. Feel free to like the video and add any comments down below so we can create other videos to help you in whatever areas that you're getting problems with. Don't forget to look at the description down below where we give an overview of the entire math syllabus and the order in which students should go through each topic in order to cover all of the content. Let's recall the 10 major topics in CSEC Mathematics and we'll be looking at topic number 8, Geometry and Trigonometry, which comes for 8 questions in the multiple choice in paper 1 and 21 marks out of the possible 100 in paper 2. This topic can be split into two parts, into geometry and trigonometry. Geometry itself can be further be subdivided into circle geometry, parallel lines or unknown angles, geometric construction and transformation. In this video, we'll be looking at transformation and the five questions that came in the years from 2014 15, 16, 17, and 18. May 2014, number 5A, triangle ABC has coordinates A, 1, 2, B, 4, 2, and C, 1, 0. Part 1. On the answer sheet provided, draw a triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. The image of triangle ABC under an enlargement center O and the scale factor 2. So let's bring up the center being at O which is the origin where the two axes cross and since our enlargement is plus 2 and our triangle is to the right it means that when we enlarge it, it the newer larger triangle is going to go further to the right. So how do we do enlargement? Let's draw a line through O going through A onwards. And that means that when A, when the triangle is enlarged, the A will move to somewhere along that red line. And how far will it move? It will move twice the distance from OA to OA prime. So if you want to look at from O to A, we're moving one to the right and two up. So if we double that, because the scale factor is two, then we'll be moving two to the right and four up. And that will give us our new A, which we will label A prime. And similarly, let's draw a line through OB, a long line, and the distance from O to B will be doubled. If we look at it, we will see that we're moving 4 to the right and 2 up to move from O to B. So if we're doubling that, then instead of moving 4 to the right, we'll be moving 8 to the right and 2 to the 4 up. So that will be B prime. And we know we're on the right track because AB was a horizontal line. And as we enlarged it, we're still getting a horizontal line A prime, B prime. And it is twice as long. AB was three units and A prime, B prime is six units. And then OC, we want to expand that via the enlargement. And OC is... Let's draw that line going through there, which is actually the x-axis, that red line. And O to C was the distance of 1. So when we use a scale factor of 2, it will get twice as far. It will be 1, 2 is 2. So O C prime will be at 2. So we can now bring up that new triangle in green to show that is the enlargement of the original triangle ABC under a scale factor of 2 using that origin as the center of enlargement. Part 2, the last part of the question, triangle A prime, B prime, C prime, the image of triangle ABC, which is the original image, under transformation M. Describe completely the transformation M. If we look at ABC and it's moved to A double prime, B double prime, Z double prime, we can see that that is a slide or the proper word to use for us is a translation. So the way it has been transformed is not by an enlargement, not by a rotation, 
but by a translation. And how much did it translate? If we take B and we move it to B prime, first thing we should do is move it along the X axis to the right or left and then move it up or down. So if we use our green arrow, we can see B is moving across to the right. So that means it's positive. And how much did it move? It moved one, two, three, four units to the right. And then it went down. So that means that it's going to be a negative value. Because if you're going down along the vertical line or the y-axis, it will be minus something. And how much does it move? One, two, three, four, five units. So it moves minus five. As such, the way to describe it would be the translation is four minus five. May 2015, number 6B, the diagram below shows triangle PQR and its image, triangle P prime, Q prime, R prime, after an enlargement centered at the point C on the diagram. Use the information from the diagram to complete the statement below. Part 1, size of the scale factor is, so let's look at the original diagram, QR has a length of 2 and when it's enlarged, Q prime, R prime now has a length of 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's gotten twice as big. Let's check another side. PR has three units long. We have that in yellow. And P prime, R prime will have six units long. So in both cases, it has doubled in size. So we're sure the scale factor is going to be 2. Now one more thing to check. Look at where the center is. And to the left of it is our original triangle PQR. And our answer, which got twice as big, ended up not on the left, but went in the opposite direction. So we can indicate that by seeing the green arrow showing that it's on the left side. And when it ended up, it ended up with the blue arrow on the opposite side. As such, it is minus 2. Part 2 of the question. The scale factor is negative because, exactly what we just said, the object and the image are on the opposite directions from the center. Part 3. The length of PQ is the square root of 13 units. Root 13. Therefore, the length of P prime Q prime is how many units? Well, the scale factor is 2. So that means it will just be twice as long. So it will be 2 times root 13. Part 4, the area of the triangle PQR is how many square units? So PQR is our original triangle on the left hand side. So area of a triangle PQR is equal to length by breadth, which gives us rectangle, and we divide by 2. So that will give us our triangle. And it will be 2 times 3 divided by 2. 2 into 2, 1. 1, 3 is 3. So the area of the triangle PQR is 3 square units. Part 5. The area of triangle P prime, Q prime, R prime is how many times the area of the original triangle PQR? So let's recall from the previous video that we did on this topic that there was a short method to do this. So we can work out the area of the original triangle PQR, area of the enlarged triangle, and divide them. So we can see how many times bigger it got. Or the shorter way is whatever the scale factor is, K, which in this case is minus 2. And then we can square that. So minus 2 squared will give us 4. The area of triangle P prime, Q prime, R prime is 4 times the area of triangle PQR. Which is how much? 3 times 4, which is 12 square units. May 2016, number 5B, the diagram below shows triangles RST and this image R prime, S prime, T prime after transformation. So the original image is on the top left, that's the object, and R prime, S prime, T prime is the image. Part 1. Describe the fully the transformation which maps triangle RST, the object, onto its image. So we can see that it's a slide. Let's bring up the triangle RST and how will it end up to this new point? When we're talking about sliding, the best way to describe it is to show how much it moved in the x direction and then how much it moved in the y direction. So let's take the point S. 
How does S move to its new point, S prime? It will slide two units to the right. So we have that in a purple arrow. And then it will come down. It will come down one, two, three, four units. And since it's coming down, it's minus four. As such, the best way to describe this would be translation of two minus four, indicating it moved two to the right and four down. Last part of the question now, part two. Triangle RST is reflected in the line X is equal to 6. That's the original triangle. On the graph, draw a triangle R double prime, S double prime, T double prime. The image of RST after the reflection. And write down the coordinates of R double prime. Let's bring up our line of reflection. And our mirror line there is at X equal to 6. So that is the vertical line. And if S is being reflected along that line, S is one unit away. So when it's reflected, it'll, S double prime will end up one unit away. And R, which is one, two, three, four units away, when it's reflected, will end up four units to the right. So let's bring that up. That'll be R double prime. And similarly, T double prime, four units away. When it comes up, will be four units away. And let's see if we're correct. The distance between R and S is 3 units. The distance between R double prime and S double prime is also 3 units. Vertically, RT is 2 units and R double prime, T double prime is also 2 units. Because in reflection, the size does not change. So, let's bring up the triangle. And let's identify the coordinates of R double prime, which is not 9, the 1 after 9, which is 10, is the X value, and 3 will be the Y value. May 2017, number 5B. The diagram below shows triangles A, B, C, and also its image A prime, B prime, C prime under a single transformation. Part 1. Describe fully the transformation that maps triangle A, B, C to triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. So we can see from there it is some sort of thinning. So we'll see that the transformation is a rotation. And if we have a rotation, as we brought it up there, let's rotate it and see the center of rotation will be at the origin, at 0, 0. And to completely describe it, we must also give the angle and the direction it turns. So it turns from OB to OB prime, so it turns 90 degrees. We can measure that using a protractor in the exam in a clockwise direction. Last part of the question, part 2, the translation vector T, 4 minus 5, maps triangle A prime, B prime, C prime, which is a triangle on the right side, to a new triangle, A double prime, B double prime, C double prime. On the diagram above, draw the triangle, A double prime, B double prime, C double prime. So let's move each one of the coordinates first. So A prime moves 4 minus 5, which means it moves. It moves to the right, 4 units, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then it moves down, 5 units, so that's minus 5. So A prime becomes this new point, which is A double prime. And we can move each point, or we can just count it from here, because if we're translating it, it means it slides, so it's still going to keep its same orientation, same direction it's facing. So A prime, 3 units vertically downwards, was B prime. So A double prime, three units downwards, one, two, three. We'll, let's bring that up. That will be B double prime. And from B prime, you went two units across to get C prime. So from B double prime, we could go two units across, and that will give us C double prime. So we now have, have our new triangle, A double prime, B double prime, C double prime. May 2018, number 3B, the diagram below show the triangle OPQ. So, part one, state the coordinates of the point Q. And we can read that off. The X value is four and the Y value is one. So we can write it as a column vector, four, one, or we can write it as a row vector, four, comma, one. Part two, the line PQ is mapped to a new line, P prime, Q prime by an enlargement center O and scale factor 3. 
on the diagram above, draw the line P prime, Q prime, our new line. So let's bring up our center of enlargement, that is at O, and let's draw a line out from OP. As that line, that long red line goes out, the distance from OP became three times as far to give us our new point OP prime. So OP would be going two to the right and two up. So if you go three times further, it will be going from O six to the right, six up. So that new point is P prime, the enlargement of, of a scale factor of three. And let's do the same thing for Q. Let's draw a long line going from O through Q. And as we did in part one, it was four one, and it got three times as long. So instead of being four to the right, it will be four threes are 12 to the right and three ones are three up. So we could bring up that point and that point will be Q prime. So we can now draw the new line P prime Q prime. And we can tell if you want to measure it using your ruler in the exam, you can measure, measure PQ and measure P prime Q prime, it will be three times as long. Part three, the last part of the question, the triangle OPQ undergoes a reflection in the line Y is equal to zero. So let's draw that red line going across, which is actually our x-axis. So it undergoes a reflection in line y is equal to zero to produce an image O double prime, P double prime, Q double prime. On the diagram, draw the triangle O double prime, P double prime, Q double prime. Since O lies on the mirror line, then its reflection will remain there. So O double prime will be the same place as O. And P, if we... Look how far away is it from the red line from our x-axis. It's two units away above the line. So when we reflect it, it will be two units below the line. So P double prime will be at 2 minus 2. And Q is at 4, 1, one unit above the line. So when we reflect it, it will be one unit below the line. So that will be Q double prime. So now we can draw our triangle to show the reflection. This brings us to the end of CSEC possible questions in the topic of transformation. In our first video, we did possible questions for five years, 2009 until 2013. And in this video, we did the next five years from 2014 until 2018. And in our next video, we'll be doing from 2019 until the present. Don't forget to look at the description down below so you can get a better understanding of this math syllabus by following the order which we have suggested.